People are dressing up to see it. It is in a theater near you, literally. We can officially put a monetary value on the public's collective fear and fascination with terrifying clowns. With it smashing box office records to become the third biggest movie opening of the year, after Disney's Beauty and the Beast and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The most recent movie adaptation of Stephen King's horror novel raked in over 117 million US dollars during its opening weekend in North America. Many fans of the remake classic decided to show their appreciation by not only purchasing a movie ticket to see it, but also by showing up at the theater dressed as the film's titular character, Red Balloon and all, to terrify fellow moviegoers. Many patrons took to Twitter to express their shock and delight at seeing the murderous clown in real life <laughs> in the seat right next to them, and meandering around the theater in the dark. So at the risk of running into a real life creepy clown, are you still going to see it? Red It Balloons are popping up on Pennsylvania sewers. Pennsylvania police decided to clown around with the people of Lidditz after they warned of Red It Balloons on sewer grates around town, ahead of the release of the new movie. The Lidditz Police Department posted photos on Facebook of red balloons tied to two sewer grates, along with a clownish caption on Tuesday. If you're not sure why red balloons are scary, Google it. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, we actually mean Google it. So in Stephen King's novel, It, Pennywise, the scary-ass clown, happens to be a big fan of red balloons. In their post, the cops gave the prankster or pranksters an A for effort, but said they removed the balloons because it ain't funny. <laughs> but we, we think it's pretty funny. Plus, police proposed people pursue post-haste Pennywise previews. They also advised the public to watch it with someone with the lights on and sound low. The movie is set to juggle its way around the world starting this week, and it looks really effing scary. <laughs> guy jailed for putting up fake clown warning online. A man from Livonia, New York decided to troll his community by getting in on the creepy clown bandwagon and everyone overreacted. Christopher Hooper claimed he spotted a clown on the swings while out at a local park one night and told people on Facebook to pass on the warning. In reality, the image Hooper put up online was an especially well photoshopped fake. People have already been unreasonably afraid of creepy clowns, thanks to recent sightings. Despite the lack of any credible clown threats, Hooper's hoax apparently caused public alarm by sending everyone and their mother into absolute panic. Police eventually tracked Hooper down and arrested him for exercising his freedom of speech. He may be facing jail time and a $1,000 fine. If America's massive hissy fit over clowns proves anything, it's that free speech and due process go flying out the window once people subscribe to fear, however irrational. One thing's for sure, Halloween is gonna be interesting this year. UK reports surge in creepy clown sightings. Creepy clowns are giving terrified Brits the spooks as hundreds of sightings are reported across England, Scotland, and Wales. With Halloween fast approaching, the creepy clown phenomenon is shaping up to be the most frightful export since spam to cross the Atlantic. Just last Sunday, a mother from Manchester reported she and her two young daughters were menaced by a pair of creepy clowns. One of the sinister looking pranksters jumped on the woman's car and brandished a machete, although the weapon may have been fake. Meanwhile, the clown's partner in creepiness gave the willies to the two young girls. Police forces from across the UK have warned the public about the threat from creepy clowns, who appear to have been inspired by a craze that began in the US in late summer. Although most reports UK police have received are about clowns lurking or jumping out in front of people, more serious complaints have included a knife-wielding clown chasing children in Newcastle and the robbery of a teenage girl by a clown in Gloucester. Meanwhile, an eight months pregnant woman from Leicester claims she went into labor prematurely when she was startled by a creepy clown. Thankfully, reports say both mother and baby are doing well. <laughs> Dressing up as a clown isn't a criminal offense in the UK, but creepy clowns face a 1,000 pound fine if found guilty of causing alarm and distress. And if they're carrying a weapon, they could even face jail time. 
But with Halloween still a few weeks away, we're guessing that all this clowning around is only just getting started.